Hey guys, it's Mr. Wahid of Hack here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the OBD11 hack tool, whatever you want to call it. It's for Volkswagen cars, Audi cars and stuff like that. You get a pro code, I'm not sure where mine is, it's on the inside. So the pro code lets you, gives you 500 tokens or something like that, 200 or 500, some shit like that. So you get some free at the moment when you get it. And then you, you get all the pro access without ads and everything as well. And uh, this cost me 70 quid, so it's not that bad. And you can this the OBD11, very beautiful. As you can see, the code's on the inside here. Why should this? But I'm not going to show you. It. This the OBD11 thing. It plugs into your socket under there, and then you plug on your car, and then you connect to by Bluetooth on your phone, and then I'll show you how you do that. And then we can, I'll do one hack for you, and then I'll experiment with it. And yeah, I'll show you what information you get on the app and stuff. Thank you for watching. We found the thingy under here, so you just want to plug in. You should be able to feel it somewhere. You use the front-facing camera, in it? Yeah, but, oh. or you could use the front-facing camera to do it, to check where it is, like I'll show you now. Give me your phone. This mode the phone. Or oh, you going to hold the phone. What a nice guy. Okay, so this the... Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, I don't want to take selfie easy. There you go. Can you see the purple thing there? This is the holder. This one here. So it goes in this way, I believe. Can't get it on there. Fucking hell, that's hard. More back there, you are. Alright, guys. So once it's on, you'll have a red light like that. That means it's working. Even with the car, car turned off. So I'm going to turn it on now. Okay, so it's on now. So the Bluetooth should be working on that system so we're gonna go into the app it is called obd11 sign in okay you need to make an account i'm not sure if i made one i'll Don't just double check yourself, guys all right so this is the obd11 app after you signed in it'll come up to this screen as you can see this is your point system they give you 11 points already to start off with this is without connecting to your pro code and stuff okay so now i'm going to connect allow Don't know how this actually works. Do I have to connect to the Bluetooth beforehand? Is the Bluetooth on? Yeah, I think I have to connect to it beforehand. That's the way it connects, so it connects with Bluetooth. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Nope. Should I turn the car on? Try with the car on. Oh, it's actually one way. Okay. I guess so as soon as we plug in it's it needs a device update so we'll just update it it's found it already so there you go guys you have to make sure you have enough battery for this i got 97 percent fucking hell that's gonna take ages hmm? it says at least make sure phone is charged at least 15 percent so that's gonna take a time done yeah. okay create a password Oh, unauthorized, so nobody can log into your OBD while it's on. Okay, so I'm going to make a password quickly. Hi guys, we made the doors not work in electric mode, you need it fully turned on. There you go, it's on now. Try again. Try again. Hi right, guys, you also have to make sure you connected with the Bluetooth shouting? before. <laughs> Bastard. Fucking hell, man. I have to make sure they're listening, the viewers. Okay, so now them? we connect back. Okay, now we should be connected. So I'm now connected to the OBD. Chill out, man. Chill out. Oh, they have the Volkswagen agreement signed. OBD. That's all right. Isn't it? No wonder these are Volkswagen cars, isn't it? Uh, connect. Also, oh, Volkswagen know that they use the, you do this. Yeah, yeah. They probably use it for diagnostics. Okay, so it's found. Shooting. Uh, Golf 2000 and this one, yeah. 10, 9. 2009, yeah. Golf. Just normal, normal Golf. Yeah. Body type, 5 door. Okay. Alright, guys. Connecting, connecting. I don't like Bluetooth, it's too slow. But that's the only way to connect through it. There you go. Okay, we're connected now and it's on my car. Can I see pictures now? <laughs> okay. Let's do a scan. Right, it's checking all my systems now for any problems. Oh. Is it checking them all, I think? Oh, I think it's just checking them all, yeah. ABS problem.
Nå, jeg skal nok. Ja, det kan du tjekke i munnen. Sådan det lavede på os. Is that right? Sådan er du en five så for. Der er dine andre problemer. Four for one. Huh? Probably small, but probably not major. Hey, we found forty-five problems apparently. Not sure where. Forty-six. I think it'll be to do with the airbags, to be honest, because there was a problem with the airbags. So we'll have to check about that. But there's no warning lights up here, so. Either the guy who bought it before me cleared all the faults idly. So it's good to have this on hand, I guess. So you know what's happening. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? As soon as the guy drove past. Oh, eight control units. Okay, so we found eight faults. Right, we've got a fault code in the engine code. Let's have a look what it is. Faults. System voltage, low voltage, low voltage. power relay, fuel rail, rail pressure rail. too. Mm. Okay, so there's a fault there. Transmission problem fault. Let's have a look. Clutch so two tolerance limit reach. There's no clutch. Clutch two. No, no, it's you know it's all. They have a clutch inside it. It's dual clutch in it. Brakes. Rotation sensor fault. Vehicle voltage terminal. Uh, there seems some sort of electrical problem on this. It drives. Right, before you can get any apps on, you need to turn into pro mode, so you need to figure out how to do that. To put the pro code in, you need to go into your profile settings and then it'll say OBD pro activation, then you put the code in that you have. All right, I'm going to put the code in and press enter. Because it is. Alright, guys, so now it says get pro is gone now, so it's registered in pro mode. For some reason, I haven't got any free coins. Let me refresh it. Let me close that up again. I should get 200 free points or something with it. So I can do my upgrades for free. Ugh, let me connect again. I'll show you what apps there are so you can have a look. Alright guys, to go into the apps mode, you go into car, then you click your car. Then there's apps there. Okay, so you got ESC, deactivation, corner in lights. We already have that on. If you have the mirror link system, you can sort that out with the motion. What's CH lights? Coming on and leaving on. Oh, okay. Well, you got those. Yeah, I got them. And because it's Bluetooth, it takes the piss to go check everything. Central lock with ignition. I think we have that. Emergency braking lights. That's that thing that I showed you mm. during the video. If you don't have it, I can activate it. Headlight washer. We have that. Teardrop wipe in rear. Is that what that bastard's put on? Do you know how it comes out slowly? I think that's why. Maybe. It normally wipe a few times. Oh. Oh, it's already on. I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay. Windows and mirror heated activation. That's leaving on time. Synchronized mirror adjustment. Lock acoustic. Instrument cluster region. Europe, yeah. Some stuff might not be supported as you can see with your car, so you have to make sure it is. So uh, the RNS 310 is the other system which we don't have. It's the square system, I think, I believe. You can, if you get a rear view camera yourself, you can activate it here. You've got developer menu, themes, hidden test mode, everything. Coming home mode, footwell lights. This to activate it and only activate it. Did you say it was on? Mm. Okay, you can change your... The car's in German, apparently. That's why it's in kilometers there. You see that? Yes, change it. You have to change it to English. English. Okay, then you got retrofits here, and then you got the workshop heater test. Is that everything in the normal one? Hi guys, because I didn't have the right model of the car, as you can see, that's not my car. That's a very old one. That's why my apps weren't showing up. So I'm going to delete that. Put my right model one. Oh shit, you have to confirm it. Okay, so now I'm going to reconnect to it. Let's get the right model on it, which is a Golf. There's usually two. One will say 2009, the other one will say 2002. And then you choose the second one this time. Alright guys, we're back two days after, three days after, four days after, I don't know how long it's been. Too long, too long. But basically, uh, we, they chose the, we put the wrong Golf in, the model. So now we've got the new model in, which is a uh, Mark 6 instead of Mark 5. 
So that's they've sorted that for us. You have to contact support to do it, which is pretty stupid. And yeah, so there's the new model. Make sure this picture's right compared to your model. Because it might say 2009, 2000, whatever. It's still be wrong. And you don't get 200 points with this, by the way. So you have to be careful about that. Alright, guys, I'm going to turn the Bluetooth on now. And connect to OBD11. Oh, already paired, apparently. That's fast. Alright, we're going to connect to it and check if there's any problems. Eh? Check network. Oh, I need Wi Fi as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn my hotspot on quickly. Oh, my car's not even on. No wonder, guys. You have to have your car on. Otherwise, there's no connection, by the way. There's no power. I will play my music, but I want to get a copyright strike, so. Okay, guys, that was my fault. I don't think we even need connection. But yeah, let's do it. Right, now it's got connection by Bluetooth power. Okay, so now it's on, it's gonna to connect to it and hopefully it'll check for problems. Hopefully there won't be any because my dash shows there's no problems. But someone might have cleared them all and before the last owner. If he did we're gonna to have to batter him. He's a snake. There you go. Okay, let's do a scan. Points. To get points you have to watch videos, but each video is only one point each. And you're allow you're only allowed a certain amount of amount to watch every day, so then that's stupid as well. So I need to sort that door out. Central electrics, everything's fine, so it doesn't, I don't get where it's the problem. There's no red. These are all green. Parking assistance too, I don't have parking assistance too. Parking assistance too is where it parks on its own. Some cars have it, this one doesn't. I can't get it put in because I have all the sensors and stuff already. I just need a steering thingy. Alright guys, so yeah, we've checked all the problems. Let's try to do a hack. Okay, well, it's not even a hack. All right, so to get into that, you go into profile. Oh, no, you don't. Is it? Yeah, no. Oh, no, you go into car. Apps. Okay, so now we've got all the big ones now. Now we've got auto folding mirrors, mirror link, everything, rear wiper, highway lights, footwell lights, remote window function, headlight washers. Since I only have 20 points, I'm only going to do two things. The main first thing I want to do is uh, try put the... Needle sweep on when you turn the car on, so I'll try that. And there's lots of settings here you can do, as you can see. You can also code it yourself, so that's all right. Now, let me try find it for you guys. Do you see what's it called? Needle sweep table. Okay, so we've got the needle sweep here. Sweep the gauges needles through the full range automatically on the dashboard window. Okay, so this one says it only works on GTI models, GTDs or GTRs, but I have the normal model, so. We'll try anyway. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. It's just a waste of 10 points. I can turn it back off anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So you want to press on. And when I do... So as you can see, there's lots of settings. These are all the ones in my one as well. So yeah. Needle sweep. Not supported. Why? Alright, so that's not even supported. So yeah. But yeah, if you're going to get it, you just press that, hold it, and then it activates it. You have to turn your car off, turn it on again, and it will happen. And you can see it there happen. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Goodbye.